if you can create your own musical gumbo for your album, um, who would be your producer? Who would be your writer? And two must-have collaborations. So we can start with the producer. Who would you choose to produce your album? Okay, so this is probably going to sound a little cliche. Okay. But my first pick would have to be the producer that I work with right now. Okay. Ryan Copeland. Okay. Shout out to Ryan Copeland, man. Shout out St. Pete. So even if I could have any producer I wanted, I would I would probably still choose Ryan. The chemistry. The chemistry is there, and that is like my bro. And it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Yo, happy Ryan. birthday man. What's, <laughs> what's it, Aquarius season right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, y'all oh, heard yeah. me get that out the way. Pisces, we oh, up oh, next. <laughs> I can't wait. But yeah, that bond and that chemistry that we've built over the years, it, like he knows me as an artist. Right. And I, you can't trade that. At all. Um. So yeah, I would want Ryan to produce it. Um. Uh, if I had a second pick, I would probably pick Dark Child. <laughs> if I had a second, wherever you at, Ryan Copeland, man, listen to listen. that right now. Over, if over, I had a over, second pick, over yeah. Dark Child, face over Dark Child, over if Teddy I had a Riley, pick, I would pick Dark Child. Okay, I love Dark Child. Okay, well, you know, my pen ain't that good, but I can write something down. I, I just take a writer's credit. I'm, I'm cool with that. I don't want, you know, write like a, hey, one of the runs oh, you do. MG. And I'm cool with that. So that means since we got the producer. Mm-hmm. Who, what, give me two must-have collaborations. I would want to collaborate with Brandy. Okay. Because I'm a super... The one to your left? Not this Brandy. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to b Slam, man. <laughs> um, I'm a super fanatical Brandy fan. Um, She's insane. I've always thought so. So I would definitely want to collaborate with her. Um, and let's see, a male artist. Ooh, these are these types of questions are hard because I'm a because fan so of many people so out there. Yeah. many. Um, I'm gonna go on a limb and say Tank. Ooh, good pick. I would want to collaborate with Tank. I respect that. And his first album, I'm mad that I couldn't find it on Apple Music. Mm. But he has a track on there called um, Lady on My Block. I don't know if any of y'all listened to his first album. I'm not familiar with that say that oh, I do. Oh, man, like he tells a story about... If you ever get a chance, look up Tank, Lady on My Block, and he tells a story about a lady who was, like, real pretty back in the day. Mm -hmm. And she went through some stuff, had kids, she had a pimp, you know... The, hmm. the you know tragic type interesting stuff. story. But it's a natural it's a, progression, right? <laughs> it's it's it's, it's kind of like it's the the R and B version of Sasha Thumper. Okay, it's it's like that. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, I, I love Tank's voice because he sings like a musician. I think he gets looked over. I think he gets he gets looked he's over a lot. Very underrated in my yeah. personal opinion. Um, he's an awesome musician on top of being such a great singer, but I love how he sing he his voice sounds like an instrument. Right. That's what I love so much about his voice and how versatile his voice is. Um, so I, I it's too many people to pick, but he's right. definitely like one of the top Right. People on my list. And he was in the group TGT with um Genuine and Tyrese. My favorite of the three is actually Tyrese, but Hmm. Like skill for skill, Tank. Mm -hmm. I, I really learned a lot more about him. Yeah. On that TGT, um, they insane. got the song. Her, I, I could just talk about Tank. And he's a great writer. Yes, yes, and very and producer, down to earth, you know, individual. Mm -hmm. You know, he's pretty cool. Now, who would you have is a writer or some of your writers if you would want to have a writer? If I were to collaborate with another writer, I would want to work with Esther Dean. Okay. I've always said I wanted to work with her. She's I haven't heard insane, that name in a little yeah. bit, though. A lot She's of, an insane writer. Yeah, and a lot of people don't realize, like, it's a lot of people, like, take Neo, for example. Mm -hmm. Neo did a lot of writing before he stepped out there. Mm -hmm. Yes, he um, did. Barry White, he did a lot of composing and, and arranging. I think Barry White, no, not Barry White, Isaac Hayes was the first person to get a Grammy mm -hmm. as a... Um, you know, being a composer and stuff. But it's a lot of people that think, like, like I, and I say this all the time, everybody want to be Birdman, but don't nobody know how to be Slim. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> when I say that, they, they, don't, they don't understand it because you don't have to, just because you're in front of the camera, that don't mean you don't.